Hey, it's Sandy, and in today's video, Julie will be showing you how to skip the salon and perfectly apply and remove your own gel polish nails at home. Don't forget to hit that like button if you love our nail tips and tricks, and subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Hey guys, it's Julie. Now let's get started with the tutorial. Begin with your natural bare nails. Before you start your gel manicure, make sure your nails are filed, your cuticles are pushed back, and clean of any debris or old polish. Next, you want to remove all the excess oils from your nail. To do this, you can use a dehydrator or you can use straight rubbing alcohol and just apply it to all of your nails. If you do use a nail dehydrator or some sort of bonder, you'll notice that the nail will get super dry looking, but don't worry, that's totally normal. Next, it's time to apply base coat. This is gonna be the barrier between your natural nail and the color gel to prevent staining. A little bit of gel goes a long way, so make sure to remove the excess from your brush. Now just carefully apply it to your nails, being mindful not to get it on the skin. If you do, it's totally okay, just remove it before you cure. I like to use a slight scrubbing motion with the base gel to make sure it's covering my entire nail and then smooth it out. Then drag what's left on your brush across the free edge of your nail to seal in the layer. Cure the gel in an LED or UV lamp according to your gel's instructions. Usually it's 30 to 45 seconds for an LED lamp and longer for the UV lamps. Now you're ready for your color. Again, a little bit goes a long way, so remove the extra product from your brush before applying it to your nail to avoid flooding. It's way easier to add more than it is to take away. I like to place the brush a little bit below my cuticle and push the product up and stop right before my skin. Then I glide the gel over the rest of the nail, then use what's left to cap the free edge. Keep your coats thin to ensure each layer cures evenly. And remember, gel doesn't air dry, so you can take your time and go at a pace you're comfortable with. If you are working slow, I recommend curing after each nail to prevent the gel from sliding. Once you have your first coat on, go ahead and cure again. Most gels will have a sticky layer after you cure, but don't be alarmed. As long as you follow the manufacturer's instructions on the gel, the polish will be set and there's no need to remove the sticky layer at this point. Apply a second coat of gel, just like before, to intensify the color, and don't forget to clean off any gel you accidentally get on your skin before curing. Then just cure one more time, and now it's time to top coat. Be extra cautious when applying your gel top coat, because it's really easy to apply too much out of habit, and you can completely flood your nail and make a huge mess. Thin coats are key. Give your nails one final cure, and when they come out, you can remove the sticky layer with a lint-free wipe and gel cleanser or alcohol. And sometimes if I'm in a pinch, I just use regular nail polish remover and that does the trick too. And now just apply a moisturizing oil to your cuticles to rehydrate your skin and that's it. Salon perfect, super glossy gel nails that'll last. And when you're ready to remove your gel, here's how you safely soak it off. First, you'll need either strips of aluminum foil or little nail clamps. This is just gonna keep the acetone soaked cotton ball in direct contact with the gel. Next, I like to file the top layer of the gel off to break the seal and allow the acetone to soak into all the layers. And you don't have to use an entire cotton ball for each nail. Tearing a cotton ball into smaller pieces will keep the cotton saturated longer and stick better to the nail. Now just soak the cotton ball with the 100% acetone and place the foil under your nail. Place the cotton ball securely over the gel and wrap the foil around tightly. I find that folding the top down like this keeps the foil secured. For the clips, you do basically the same thing, but just apply the clip over the nail and the cotton ball. Now just wait and let your nail soak for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then you can check your gel. If you've waited long enough, the gel should be expanded and peeling off like this. You can use an orange stick to carefully push off the gel, but if any parts are still stuck, reapply the acetone saturated cotton ball. Forcing off gel is the quickest way to damage your natural nail, so just wait five more minutes and then recheck. Gel polish can be pretty drying, so make sure to apply your cuticle oil again to moisturize and nourish your skin and nails. And that's it! If you have any questions or tips you'd like to share about gel polish, let us know in the comments below. Be sure to click the button to subscribe below and click the info card on the top right of the screen for more cute polish videos. And for more tutorials by me, check out the description box for my personal channel.